Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, we're doing something uh, a little different. Um, So if y'all remember back on the live streams, we haven't had much of an update on the stack wagon. We got an update now. I've officially made it look a little bit more like what it should in real life. Things were actually right about where they need to be in height. Real quick guys before I forget though, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you are enjoying the farming similar content as well as like the updates on this stack wagon, smash a like in today's episode. It really does help. So I kind of want to give you all a little bit of an update on everything. Just to kind of give you all an idea of what we've been working on. Now, the model is still the same. The model hadn't changed. The only thing I've done some editing on the uh, model through Giant's editor. Just to try to get things a little bit closer. But, with that also being said... I am starting to learn how to do like conversions and stuff so a couple of the older mods that I liked back in FS 19 and 17 well mainly 19 will be coming over to the channel when I get a little extra time to do it right make it look better. Alrighty, uh, 13. But, like I said, I'm relearning how to use the Giants Editor. As the main task so just to give you all a little bit of an idea so what the wagon looked like from before to what it looks like now now that the bales are actually up on the wagon here you can see that it's more uh, more like it should be So for anybody wondering why I'm taking my time or what's taking so long with this wagon, we're just going through the phases. We're trying to make sure this wagon's working correctly, which as you all can see it is. With me doing some of adjustments, I've not yet ran a full load through this thing. I've ran 30 bales on it. So actually putting a full load on here is a test to find out if this is going to stack better having the times shorter so that is what we're going to be figuring out and finding out
So we're going to find out together if this is going to stack way better or worse. So, one thing I can say with this wagon is it's been a project and it's been a heartfelt project. It's definitely a challenge that I've never had before. But typically this thing don't take very long to load up now. Now we get I figured out a couple of the other animation stuff. Turned a lot of it back down to normal time. Or the original time. I've just added a and changed a few geometry things. Alright, so I gotta let the wagon catch up. Two more tiers, we'll take it over, we'll s unload it, we'll see how the unload works. With the new adjustments, because I don't know how the new, the new alpha is going to work with the full load.
get top back up to the wagon. Alright, so now we gotta wait for the wagon to get caught back up. If not, you're gonna have this tier completely messed up and it's not gonna look right. And then when you offload it, it's gonna jump because of all the extra collisions. All right, there we go. And the field looks a lot cleaner from the live stream. So I did sell one extra load off screen and I sold another 30 bales as I was testing the wagon out, trying to make sure everything was good to go. I'll still be square bailing some more during the next live stream, just because the wagon's going to be changing some more by the time we get to the next live stream. So we'll be having a work in progress test as we're doing it, just to make things a little easier. I gotta make sure these bales are actually falling back a little bit. Nope, it's still leaning a little forward. But the tires are now on the ground. Well guys, there is the update for y'all on this wagon. 
We're still working on a few things. Once we get everything fully figured out, y'all will be the first to kind of see it on live stream. But thank you all so much for watching. If y'all did enjoy today's video, again, smash the like, hit the subscribe, hit that bell notification if you're new. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all have yourselves a good night and later on.